Dang it, I didn't want to get these pants dirty today. Caitlin's gonna kill me. Why would you wear your nice stuff fishing? Double hookup, baby, double hookup. Dude, I got a nice cow. Oh, he hit it going a million miles an hour. Bam, I got him. Whoa. Oh, you're on too, Dan. Oh, yours kind of looked all right. Yours looks pretty good. Oh, he got it. Oh. I got a big old smile on my face because today we're doing something that it's been a while and I know that you guys are going to be stoked about this. You see that out there? That's where the open ocean lies. Out there. It looks a little stormy, but the plan is today I'm going to go over to Dan's house in just a minute here. And you know when I fish with Dan it's going to be a good time. We're going to hop on his boat. And we're gonna head out of Key Largo and we're gonna head straight offshore and see what we can freaking get on today. What are we gonna get on today? I don't know, but I will tell you this, I'm coming freaking prepared. I got my big boys, I got my super light action. Maybe we'll get some mahi or something on that. My like little medium action that's really good for tuna and stuff. Got our Yozuri plugs. We got the new, where are they? You ready for this? These are our Ballyhoo rigs with wire on them. So we'll be trolling those, maybe hook into a Wahoo or Kingfish. I don't know. I got a couple little updates. My John boat, if you follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of videos working on this boat. I am putting out a full on boat build video on this guy. Cause you know, my boat's been down now. I should have it back this month. Things are looking good. But you know, I got a little desperate and I just started building another boat. I put some super flex, super slick steel epoxy on the bottom. This boat just is glides. I can use just like two fingers and move the, whoa, poof. see that? It just slides on the trailer because it's so slick on the bottom. Come look what I did. Come and follow me into the dungeon. These are all the wood floors I got. Um, I already cut them out. That's the center floor. <laughs> That's the bow casting platform. I'm gonna be sea decking all of that. The John boat's gonna be real nice and that should be done in about a week or two here. A lot of really fun things happening back in here. I might even try trolling some of these bottom candies on the Ballyhoo rig. I'm gonna head over to Dan's house now and then it's time to start fishing. Let's go. Just stopped at the Tom Thumb. Decided to grab myself a little bit of breakfast. I'll see you soon, Dan. There's John Penny Camp. Yeehaw. We made it to the Florida fishing couple's house. You know, Dan's house. And you think the chilada's my only breakfast? No, I also got an egg salad and a tuna salad sandwich. I'm gonna be feeling good out there. <laughs> and I got my lucky banana pants on. I got the cutest little keys. Some ballyhoo. Tackle bag, let's go. All my rods are in here. Yo, yo. What's going on, man? Good morning. I got the best crew ever working. <laughs> yeah. These guys are unbelievable. If you ever need any electrical work, plumbing, anything, this is the guy right here. I love the smell of fresh cut wood. I got some ballyhoo. Nice. I got big dreams today. Let's you know what? I'm going to put these here for now so I can get them all ready. I rigged up some nice trolling baits. I'm ready to depart to Never Everland. All right. Yeah, I got myself a gas station egg salad sandwich. <laughs> That's always, that's taking your life in your hands. Oh, oh yeah, today, I'm playing with fire today. <laughs> this is gonna go down well with the chilada. <laughs> but I woke up this morning and said, I just don't care, I'm going fishing today. We just drive around in the beginning and just look for uh, anything, birds, that's what I'm fish breaking. You wanna work our way out towards the humps? You wanna go that way? Yeah, I'd be down. Well, I might as well properly enjoy this ride out. A freaking hey. Modelo chilada. Yeah. 
Got a drink with a pinky up? Oh, real fancy. Oh. That's not fancy looking. Where the hell did you get that one from? Mm. You just saw it and go, oh, let me try that. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's one way to start the day. <laughs> That'll sit nicely with my egg, egg oh, yes. salad. Yeah, there you go. Mm. To the offshores we go, yo ho. On our way out, we stopped near Molasses Reef Tower to catch some ballyhoo for bait. I have the chum. All right, the chum. And our makeshift chum bag. It's like ringing a dinner bell. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come get it, boys. Come get it. I see the valley who Can we do a deploy or just wait? This side. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Get that. Let's just get some in the boat. There's a couple of valley who. Yeah. Oh, good work. Good work. Big one. That's a that's a horse. There's some studs in there. Nice. That's the way that's done. Oh yeah, definitely. I think it's time we rig some ballyhoo up. And get ready for some trolling. Yeah, I'm gonna take like the little squid skirt off because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to troll this this freaking. Willow. Oh yeah. 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 What's, what's the name of that one? Um, I don't know. I just found it in my box of. Is it the Mar? There's a special, I think a special name for that. Just gotta find the hole. Oh yeah. Oh ho ho, that's gonna be a goo. Woo! Oh, you got a fresh ballyhoo for me? Fresh yeah, we got enough ballyhoo. They're gonna start dying in there. Right? This one looks good. Nice ones. Oh yeah, hello buddy. I like to take all their scales off when I troll them. Yeah, get all their guts out, get all their scales out. Break the back. I measure where the wire end will go through the mouth of the ballyhoo and where the hook will come out of the ballyhoo. And that's where I'm gonna cut a slit for the hook to come out of with a knife. Oh, trust me, I just had quite the adventure with mine. <laughs> He's still flopping. Yeah, I know. Woo, that's a good looking rigged up belly hoo. <laughs> Look at my belly hoo, Dan. Oh, yeah, that's a sweetheart. It's going to be a killer right there. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna lay him on ice, and I'm gonna rig up a, another one. So we're we're freaking ready to go! Woo! All right. <laughs> All right. We loaded up on live ballyhoo, and we rigged them up. So we're gonna now we're gonna head out to the wreck. We're gonna troll some ballyhoo. We're gonna troll these nomad lures. I got one there. I got one over here. Boom, baby. Point out that we have a nice little storm brewing out there. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Dan would like to remind us of the big clouds out there. <laughs> yeah, we'll troll the wrecks and then we'll just go out offshore and we'll just keep looking for stuff. And when we see anything birds, tie lines, weed lines, rips, really? bait jumping, anything. 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 We're going to throw all our lines out and troll through them. Yeehaw! Excellent cast, Dan. Yeah! Yes! 
Do well, my fishy friend. Unfortunately, there's seaweed everywhere, making trolling almost impossible. So we head towards the Isla Morada humps looking for cleaner water. We're too fancy for trolling in the sea weed infested waters. Yeah, too much seaweed here. Time to run gun, find something that looks good. The water looks perfect, but there's seaweed everywhere. Why? Yeah, if there wasn't seaweed, we'd be in. Oh yeah, we'd be we'd be doing circles around that. We'd be getting wahoo left and right. We'll right. find something though. Cool. I'm gonna have my eyes peeled wide open. Alright, I'm gonna try to get it here. I got it. Right, Chuck it right in there. We got ourselves some trash. We got some trash. Yeah. We got some trash. Catch of the day. So far. Aww. Damn it, more trash. I'll see if I can grab it again. Nice. All right, well, we're really filling up our trash bucket. <laughs> yeah. And they are on something. They're on a piece of weed. Yeah, they're on something? Yeah, they're on a piece of weed. And they're chomping on a piece of weed. All right, I just put the belly who out. Come on! What'd you get? Don't know. Got one now. I see him! <laughs> Dude, what is that? No freaking idea. Nice fish though, whatever it is. Did you see him come to the top of the yeah, water? Yeah, he smashed that. Okay, we might have to chase him here. Yep, we might. I'll bring this guy in. Yeah, right now, I think we're good. Just like that. Yeah, crank it down on him. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, Dan. No bonito. He's coming in now, huh? Yeah, we're getting him, man. We're getting him. No bonito and no barracuda, please. He hit on the little feather. Oh going. yeah. He's going. I got the net. Okay. Um, okay. I'm okay. thinking the net might work, right? Sorry, man. That's fine. Like, oh, it's a mahi. It's a mahi. Yo, it's a mahi. Is he a flipper? A flipper. Uh, go on and flip him. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's just double check real quick. Yep, double check them up. All right, keep her mahi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's troll a Let's big go. ballyhoo right around yes. there. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to see you. First one of, first one of the new year for me. First one of the year. Come here, They're come back. Here, come here. Nice, nice hook. Nice hook up, too. Good looking fish. Nice. Woo! -hoo. There's more one to do. Yeah, that is, that's like scary big. A lot of weeds. Wow. A lot of weeds. Yeah, hey, maybe we'll catch a, a vegan fish. <laughs> With so much seaweed, the ballyhoo are a pain to troll. So we just troll the weedless squid rigs instead. You can pop weeds off them easily and troll them much faster. The weedless squid rig the one, is the one. How's yours doing? Bird just flew, right? Over. That bird is right over our baits. Oh look, he's acting crazy. There's another bird right here. There's three of them now. Yep, I'm on. Right. Yeah, he's on the feather. On the wheelless squid rig strikes again. I could probably get him in on the left side here. If you just slow it down a bit, I can probably just manhandle him in. Yeah, I'll bring him in real quick here. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring him right up the center. What could it, I think it's a bonita. Benito, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yep, he'll be good bottom drifting. Wow, look at that perfect hook set. Yep. Oh no, he was doing great and then he just decided to realize he's like, wait a minute, Chum all over my camera. Oh my god. Oh, the camera is covered in chum. Look at that. 
Oh, that is disgusting. That's like really disgusting, actually. All over my face. <laughs> a little bonito. A little brat. There's chum on my cam. Both my cameras are covered in chum. Look at that. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that's a blooper, all right. A smelly blooper. Dang it, I didn't want to get these pants dirty today. Caitlin's gonna kill me. Why would you wear your nice stuff fishing? Maybe it's fishing. Whew, okay. That was grotesque. <laughs> oh. It's like, it's in my mouth, on my lips, and everywhere. All over my shirt. Have you ever seen such a disgusting little creature? Yeah, he's disgusting. <laughs> Dirty little piggy. Get in there. Okay then. Well, that was fun. Send the big boys on down. We get to the Isla Mirada humps and do some vertical jigging. Dan's on vertical jigging. Vertical jigging. All right, bring that beast on up. Thing. Mine's dropping down. <laughs> She's going down, yeah. yeah. Can't wait to see what you got on there. Oh! Right. A black fin tuna! Yeah! We got some sush. We got some sush on oh, this goop fish rock. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that little squirt. There we go. All right. We see some birds off in the distance and decide to troll our rigs right under them, and it's game on. Fish! <laughs> Holy moly! It's a mahi! Right. It's a mahi! It's a nice mahi! <gasps> oh! Alright, watch your line. He might have some friends. Alright, get ready. Oh, he's about to give us some jumps. Yeah, he's jumping. Can't tell if he's got any friends or not. Oh, 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 I got what you're saying. Yeah. Nice. He's coming right to you, Dan. Woo! Pretty green colors. Wow. You hit that thing like a ton of bricks. Ooh. It just popped off. Yeah, popped it right at the end. Nice, we dude. Catch fish, man. Yeah, we always catch fish. Guaranteed. Nice one, nice one. No, the mahi bites the dust. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. This is what we're about. <laughs> Who's happy over there? I'm happy. Right Double hookup, baby. Double hookup. <laughs> the squid rigs never fail, man. Never fail. Nothing like a little feather. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yours look good. Yours look nice, man. You know, we got some plenty of tough bait. Well, we might have to keep one in the water. We, who's ever got the smaller one? Oh, yours is jumping good. Anybody with them? No. Nice. Oh, dude, yeah, yours looks great. <gasps> they're, they're all around the boat. Big ones, big ones. <laughs> Chunks, chunks, chunks. I'm just putting the, putting a chunk on this squid rig right here. Yeah, just chunk, throw them out there. They're everywhere. They're big ones. Big ones, I'm hooked up, yes! <laughs> Dan, I got a nice cow. I got a nice one. <laughs> we need more. I'm gonna keep chunking. Yo, they're going hard, Dan. Get another line out there. They're everywhere. 
Keep it coming, man. They are everywhere now. Yeah, there are there's big ones out here. Yes, no! <laughs> he got off! He's back on. He's back on. Yes! <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Oh, I got one on the jig, man. I got one on the friggin' jig. Nice. It's pandemonium. Woohoo! <laughs> the day. He's whipping my left. Give me my hook back. I got more to catch. He's slapping me silly. <laughs> Weedless squid rig. Oh, there they are, there they are. oh, I'm on again. Oh yeah. Keep in the water, keep in the water this time. Okay. I got my light action rod. This is my inshore rod, but I'm going for it. They're right behind the boat. Oh, I got a mahi on the trout jig. On the what? On the bottom candy. Oh my gosh. Yes. I caught a freaking mahi on it. On that. Yes! Yeehaw, on the popper and on the bottom candy jig. Mahi, love it! Who would have thought? Come on. You're on? Yes, yeah, Dan! Oh, that's a good one! That's a good one. That's a good one. Holy sh! What a jump! What a freaking jump! I'm out of GoPro battery! No! All over behind the boat, okay, new battery before I do anything. We got mahi everywhere. Ours are stuck. Oh no. Oh, okay. Yep, mine just came off. Holy sh! Mahi jumping right here. I'm gonna use the trout rig again. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah, hear a monster already. Come on in. Come to Papa. Oh, you're a nice one, too. All right. That's as, that's as many as I'm going to keep. I was not ready for that. My GoPro was low on battery. My my rod was messed up. I was like, oh, it's happening. I can't believe I caught him on my trout rig. Here, we need to put all these on ice. Yeah, just cast out right to him. We loaded up. Look at all this meat, Dan. <laughs> got a freezer full of meat now. I got a fish on. Oh my god, I got a fish on. Oh, oh, what is that? The, oh, it's a baby. <laughs> it was a little mahi. A spunky one. Holy smokes. What a rush. Oh, something's messing with me. Already? Hi. Yeah, I got him. Oh, he spit the hook. Oh, here they are. Look at them all. Oh my God, look at them all. Where's the big one? I want the big one. If I just catch a small one, I'll let them go now. But if I catch the jumbo. Oh, he went right after you. Oh, he hit it going a million miles an hour. Bam, I got him. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you're on too, Dan. Oh, yours kind of looked alright. Yours looks pretty good. This 
This is awesome. Dude, mahi on mahi. I want to catch one on my on my trout jig again. Where are they at? Oh, they're everywhere. Hi right for it, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You went right for it. Here they come. Oh, he got it. Oh, he launched. Dude, a thousand miles into the air. Oh. Nice one. Oh, one on that one too. I know. There's so many. So pretty. Look at those colors. Hey, can you do me a favor? Yep. Can we have a beer when this is all over? Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have a couple beers. I released that last one, but this one kind of looks. Well, woohoo! Keep as many as you want. I just know if I, I keep two or three, I'm good. Yeah, I was gonna give my neighbor a couple. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Really long. Woo! Dan, you find a good one up there. Woo! Man, the weedless squid rig, you're just. That's all there is to it. Yeehaw! Oh, he went. He went in there. He wants the box. Hey, we got some good ones today, bro. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Room in the box. The nice. Box. You going into the box? Into the box. Into the box. We gonna get some ice on these guys. Oh yeah. This always happens at the humps. It's like slow day, slow day, and then <laughs> hit the NOS button. <laughs> It's like, bro, where's your seatbelt? What do you mean you're already wearing it? I need a second one. We're going too fast. There's blood all over the boat. There's blood all over me. This is just what I needed. It should be law that you gotta do this at least once a week or else you're like clinically considered like. Yeah, insane. Yeah, that was a blast right there. There's like more birds over there. I don't even think we need to try to target any more money, honestly. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Nice fat beer. I think the part that makes that so much harder for us is we're also trying to videotape. Mm -hmm. That makes it so much harder. Exactly. If I didn't have a camera, it'd be like a whole nother hand I have to use. Yeah, then, then we're just fishing. I switched batteries in the middle of that whole ordeal. I don't, I don't know how you did. I'm just like, I like two rods going off here, and I'm like, put the battery in. At one time, I think we had four rods with fish on. Oh my god. No, I yeah, I looked down and I saw your mahi like down here from that rod mine was and I had another one here. I'm like, I just looked down there's three mahi on right right just I'm like, what the heck? Ah. Cheers. Cheers, man. That was excellent. Now I got to start thinking about how I'm going to cook those guys. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. He just <laughs> Oh no. I can't believe it. They're still behind the boat probably someplace. These good size. Just sitting around the ones we were getting to. Anybody following you? He is a pretty boy. Look at look at his fins blue. Lit oh, up blue. so blue. Wow. like a perfect specimen. Yeah, he is. If I got him hooked right, I'm just gonna let him go. I don't think I've ever seen him lit up like so blue like that on the edge of the fence. Yeah. Like, they, look, they look like they're painted on. I'm gonna try to save this guy. Yeah. Let him grow big and strong so we can to see you in two years. Fight him another day. Right, take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. Yes. There, you go. there he goes. Perfect. All right. All right. 
Although he was juicy. Yep. On the road again. You can keep 10 mahi per person, but with eight mahi in the cooler, we have plenty of meat for ourselves and some neighbors. So we decide to call it a day early and head back in. Day got a real nice one. He just threw it right back in the water. Too much, you know what I mean? Good job, guys. Look at all those little green tails in there. My fillet knife's still in the bag too. I haven't even opened it yet. Yeah, ultra, ultra outdoors. All right, time to start. Filleting them. Almost got through it all. Oh, this, this Maya's got some roe in her. I want that. Yes. And cut out the bad part. Mm, my favorite. I just want my caviar, that's all I want. I got you. You guys want a whole one where you can eat them? Quite a few. So if you guys want to fly them up and have dinner, see, it's part of the perks of, of living next door to me. See, there you go. That should be some nice place. You should be able to get like four nice plates, you know, four four pieces out of that. Hey, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeehaw. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, that should that, that should provide a meal there for you. Yeah. Two nice slabs. Yeah. yeah. Yeehaw. Shut her out, man. That's all. He showed up to the party. Oh. I'm big boy. Smells that fresh water. Yep, you're right. He wants the good, good. Oh, he's drinking right off the seawall. Yeah, he yeah. He's down there just. Oh, he he farted. <laughs> he had, there was one right he's eating the mahi down there. We're back at the crib and we're gonna do a little bit of cooking. Got our kitties, looking good. Look at this massive bag of fish that we got. Oh yeah, baby. Tomorrow I'm definitely gonna make mahi tacos, but I'm a little, it's been a long day, you know? But I do wanna eat a little sum sum. Excuse me, sir. All right, he's not gonna stop coming up here unless I give him some fish. All right, all right, I'll give you some fish. Just stay down there for just one second. Oh God. I got a freaking herd of cats. Everybody out, out, get, get. There. That should buy me enough time to get my food ready here. All right, so a little midnight snack. I'm gonna take the, the egg sacs, the caviar, make myself a little snack here. Ooh, boy, and I'm excited. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah! There's one more buried in this bag somewhere. There we go. Do you see how much fish this is? Holy smokes. These are gallon bags stuffed. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna make some happy neighbors with this mahi. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got some freaking slow-mo shots of it. I don't know if I need to rinse these because they're pretty fresh. Jeez, I'm gonna rinse them off. Light rinse. I'm gonna try something like Sri Lankan style. Okay, I kinda got an idea how I'm gonna do this. Take our egg sacs. Put them inside of there. Bro, I need you to get down. We're not doing this right now. If you want a kitty to calm down, you give him a bag of catnip. Come here. Yes. Yes. Stay there. We got a meal to cook. I got five ingredients. Some Himalayan pink salt. Some curry powder. Just give it a nice deucing. Some turmeric. Then we're gonna use our red, white, and blue fish and game seasoning, sweet heat, and our new flavor, the garlic and onion. Just give it a nice old deuceroo of both of these. Mm. We're gonna take some water and just splash it on in there. Turn that to a raging boil. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water in there. But essentially we're gonna boil and we're gonna cook these eggs in water, cook through, we're gonna take them out and then we're gonna fry them in some butter and garlic. That is some heavenly smells. That'll cook for about seven, seven or eight minutes till, I, till it cooks off most of the uh, water in there then they'll be cooked through and we're gonna add a nice light fry a nice garlicky garlicky buttery fry to it it's freaking steaming in there and i got look at these animals this is the worst i've ever seen them you mind if i take that from you because you're covered in uh in this stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna need you to hand it over. Oh, gee. Jeez. Ow! Yo, wow. All right, now what I'm gonna do is they are almost done boiling in there. I'm gonna heat some oil in a second pan. I'm gonna use some vegetable oil. Actually, no. I'm gonna use some freaking peanut oil. It's my lucky day. Give it a nice little deuceroo of peanut oil. I'm also going to add butter and garlic. Oh yeah, those are ready for frying! Okay, I don't want this to burn. Now I'm gonna save the butter for for the end. The butter is gonna go on last. <laughs> but I will put some garlic in there already. Garlic starting to sizzle. Time. It's it's frying temperature. So now we're gonna drop in our egg sacs. Whoa, gently there. Gently now. And we're gonna fry them for maybe like two minutes on each side. We just want them to get a nice crispy golden brown layer. All right, we're gonna reduce the heat on that a little bit. You know, I'm actually kind of trying to, I, I'm holding off on the butter because I don't want to throw butter in there and have it all burn. I'm debating if I should even bother putting butter in it because it smells so good already. I don't know if I need it or do I need it. Oh, I do love butter. 
Oh, those are looking really good. Okay, I'm not going to put the butter on them. I think they look perfect how they are. Oh, yeah. I wish I could share the smells with y'all right now because this is on a different level here. I can't help it. I'm putting some butter in. All hail the butter god. Burn. Let the fire spread through the village. Oh yeah, fried butter. Oh my god. These guys are looking pretty crispy. I almost want to say they're that they're done. I don't want to. Yeah, you know what? I'm taking them out. So I let them cool down a bit. Ooh, they're still hot. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to think of something to give it a good crunch and I was looking through the fridge and I found this red cabbage that I had. It's got some ice on it because I guess my fridge is really cold. I have these pork bellies in here. These are pork bellies that I like fry up and then I put them in the cabbage egg. Oh, oh shit. Oh man. All right, check that out. Oh, now we're talking. All right, that just gave it some pizzazz. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, all right, okay. I'm pretty glad I wore camo because you can't see all the mahi blood on me, so that's a good thing. Turn my GoPro on. Oh, my hair, wow, I gotta work on that. Gonna wrap, ooh, it's hot. Here we go. Mmm, no. Mmm. I'm gonna try some caviar just by itself. Mmm. I can taste how creamy it is through the lettuce. It's so good. The lettuce gives it a nice crunch though. No crunch when you just eat it by, no, a little crunch. So far, this is the my favorite way that I've ever made these things. And then eating them in the lettuce. Oh yeah, baby. Buttery, soft, creamy caviar eggs. The flavors are on point. Mm. Got some lettuce. Wonder what would happen if I made some like... Oh yeah. Look at these killer lettuce bites. How good do those look? All right, let's try this. They're more fun, but this, wrapped in this, lettuce definitely tastes better. That was fun though. The next morning, I vacuum sealed the rest of the mahi so it'll store longer and better. And for dinner, Caitlin and I cut up some mahi and seasoned them with the red, white, and blue outdoors blackening. Sizzled them up and made some killer blackened mahi tacos. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. And if you want to get some awesome stuff and support the channel at the same time, head over to rwboutdoors.com. All the seasonings that we use are available here. And it never hurts to have some weedless squid rigs on your boat. My favorite color is the black and purple. The Ballyhoo rigs are also awesome. They're the same ones that we used in the episode today, and they work great when, well, when there's not a ton of weeds around in the water. They're available in both mono and wire. The Mahi Pitcher would have been the perfect rig to have, but we didn't have it, but it would have been great to have on the light action rod for pitching the Mahi. And apparently the Mahi just love, love, love the bottom candy baits which look like squid tentacles and are squid flavored. <clears throat> it's making me hungry. I might do a little bottom candy catch and cook. But thanks again for sticking around to the end, and I'll catch you on the very next episode. Cheers. Cheers.